Hey everybody, Jason here. I need to tell you something. I don't know shit about choreography. When it comes to doing unboxing videos and product reviews and things like that, the only way I really know how to do that is like a first experience type thing. If I try to like review it and look all smart, it's not gonna work out. So, Ben, I have been putting you off a little bit. You are under the impression that I already opened this box, right? Well, I sorta of did. I cut open the top, I looked in it, and I discovered that on top we have a t-shirt. What is this, man? Are we, are we married? Are you trying to show me how to dress? What is this? Oh man, this is nice. Comfortable, a whole bit. I will proudly wear this in public. Gee whiz, it's like I got a sugar daddy. Today, we're gonna be having a look at the ICC Pro. I have not had time to take this thing out of the box. I have not even looked at it. Ben is really proud of this thing and he's been anxious for me to tear it open and get it out of the box. And as I said before, I like to do this on a first experience basis, although sometimes I regret it. So here's what this thing looks like. Very nice packing job. Dude, that thing is like, this thing is tiny. I honestly thought it was gonna be considerably larger than this. It's really lightweight. Uh, let's see, is it powered? Okay, we've got USB-C on the side. Let's see what this thing does. What this is supposed to do is enable you to test the TriStar IC or the Hydra IC that, ugh. It is supposed to enable you to test the TriStar IC or the Hydra IC that is inside the phone. Uh, this chip has a lot to do with charging and the phone's ability to charge. So on a lot of models, it's really easy just to swap out the TriStar IC just as like a diagnostic measure. But on some models like the iPhone XR or like the iPhone 5, it really, really sucks to swap out the TriStar IC or the Hydra IC. It's supposed to enable you to be able to test that chip without like taking the phone apart. And I've never used one of these, so I don't know how, how well it works. I have a iPhone 6S that I know most likely has a good TriStar IC. And then I have also here an iPhone XR that is having, uh, it's having charging issues. I'm fairly certain that it is not the uh, Tigris IC. So I would like to see what this thing says about it. Oh, look, when I push the button, it comes on. Oh, nice, it's got a rechargeable battery inside. Okay, Ben, you're selling me. I like good tools. And uh, this thing lighting right up and coming on like that, this, is, this, kind of, this makes me feel good. So let's see what it says about this phone. Oh, cool, it's got, your, it's got your website address on it too. That is massively impressive. DocFlex test. Check DocFlex. Hmm. Okay, let's flip it over. I'll have you know, this is my son's phone. And although he does abuse it, it charges normally. You know, maybe I'm supposed to turn it on and then plug it in. DocFlex test. I see test, yeah, so this thing, this phone's most likely got like a dirty pin or something and it's only working on one side. TriStar Hydra okay. Woohoo! All right, now I'm gonna switch over to a phone here that I'm having charging trouble with. This is an iPhone XR and I would like to see what this tester says about the Hydra IC because the Hydra IC on a XR, as you all know, it's snuggled up next to the CPU. It's sort of a real bear to replace it. Plus the shields on the 10R like suck to take off. So let's see what this thing says about my 10R that has charging trouble. We're gonna plug it in. Docflex test. I see test. TriStar Hydra. Okay, see, this is sort of where I'm getting at on this type of thing. On this phone, normally, once I've reached a point where, okay, I think it's TriStar, the best way to diagnose TriStar would be just to replace TriStar. But on something like a 10R, replacing TriStar really, uh, you know, it's not that difficult. The shields are hard to take off. It's, it's sort of labor intensive, you know, it takes effort. It's not a really, really easy thing. So to be able to check and see if that chip should be good without taking it off the board, that means a whole lot. So I'm gonna be doing some tinkering with this thing. I'm gonna plug it into a USB-C, love USB-C. And I'm gonna be using this and seeing how accurate it is and seeing how this works out for me. This is something that you will likely be seeing on the channel here because I like tools and I like things that save me time. And this, I feel like 
could save me time if it knows what it's doing and it's telling me the truth that this Hydra IC is good because uh, I know it's not the Tigris IC. What the heck is it? If you're interested in buying one of these, you can pick this up from iccpro.de. The website is all in German, but Ben said that there is an English version coming soon. And also it is said that there is a secret hidden feature coming soon. So I, I, I don't know what that's all about because, well, because it's a secret. I have seen other TriStar ICs and uh, TriStar IC testers in the past, and I've also seen a lot of mixed feelings on the reviews. So I'm really curious to hear what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and um, that's going to be it for this demonstration. You'll see this thing in more videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Sweet. Charging. Now I know you're all thinking the same thing. Is it going to charge the phone? I highly doubt it. Charging. So you actually have to charge the battery and then use it. It looks like it's not going to work while it's charging. Eh, no biggie.